Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In the previous video, we had discussed simplistic growth model, population growth model that was given by x prime to be equal to a times x. So assumption behind this model was that uh, the rate of growth or the population growth at time t was directly proportional to the population at time t. So this assumption was leading towards this differential equation but this assumption is naive uh, we can't always have such behavior that the population is direct at time t the rate of change of population is directly proportional to the population present at time t uh, we can have other scenarios so we will generalize it a bit more and we will impose two more assumptions and we will we will define something called the logistic population logistic population growth model we assume two things number one is so the assumptions for logistic population growth model are if the population is small then growth rate is nearly directly proportional proportional to the population size of population and the other thing is that if population population grows too large then growth rate is negative we want a model that satisfies these two assumptions and luckily we have one and uh, that is given by x prime to be equal to a times of x 1 minus x over n so what is a a is basically rate of population growth constant it's a constant a is constant which gives rate of population growth when n is small what when population is small what is n it is carrying capacity what about carrying capacity what is carrying capacity so the carrying capacity is the capacity of uh, a given system that it can hold a certain type of population for example let's take a simple example let's say we have a system let's say we have a village where people are living and we can have a number let's say 2000 and we can say that after these 2000 people we there cannot be more people in the village or uh, this village cannot contain more than 2000 people so basically carrying capacity is the capacity of a system to contain a certain type of population size so luckily this differential equation satisfies about two differential about two assumptions uh, you can see from here if x is very small then this x over n is is nearly zero and hence you get x prime to be nearly a x which is same as x prime directly proportional to x so the first assumption good goes satisfies and second one if population is very large in other words x over n is you know x is greater than in fact n you can have much more population than what happens so x over n will be 
positive and in this way this will be negative and then this is positive this is positive so this negativity will will lead to population growth to be negative growth rate to be negative so this model satisfies these two assumptions so what we want to do with this model so we have this model x prime to be equal to a x 1 minus x over n whenever we have a model we want to analyze its long term behavior long term behavior in other words we want to know that what happens to the solutions if time goes to infinity what happens to the population x of t what happens to the population x of t when t goes to infinity so in fact we can have two you know options to answer this question number one is to solve this analytically number number one is analytically solving number two is you know predicting the behavior using phase line and slow fields so first we can you know in this case we are lucky enough that we can solve this differential equation but sometimes we have very crazy kind of differential equation that we cannot solve in that case this strategy will help us a lot but since we can solve it analytically so in this case we will be analyzing this differential equation with both you know number one is analytically solving and number two is predicting the behavior of the solution using phase line and slow fields so first we are going towards the analytical solution so let's solve, so let's solve this differential equation analytically for the moment we assume that n is 1 so if n is 1 then differential equation will be this in other words we are assuming that the current capacity is one unit of population and then x will be the portion or the fraction of ideal population are the uh, so called current capacity so so let's start solving this analytically we have got x of t x prime of t to be equal to a times x into 1 minus x by separating the variables we get tx over x times 1 plus x equal to a times dt and then we will integrate and we get by partial fractions we get this thing over here and this implies we have logarithm of x minus log of 1 minus x to be equal to a times t plus some constant c then we have by applying some laws of logarithm then we have converting it to exponential or we have x over 1 minus x to be equal to a e power a t where a is what where a is e to the a e to the c so we have got this and we can further more simplify it to get 1 minus x times e power a e power a t don't forget a is positive because we are interested in population growth not decay a e power a t minus x times a e power a t and then we have x plus x to be equal to 
but we get so, so we get something x plus x times a e power a t equal to a e power a t or x equal to a e power a t divided by 1 plus a e power a t. In fact, we can impose initial condition. Let's say the initial condition is x of 0 to be x naught. We can impose this initial condition and find the value of constant a. So let's do that. Say x of 0 is x naught. So x of 0 must be a e power 0 times t divided by 1 plus a e power 0 times t. So we get this implies x naught is a over 1 plus a which implies x naught plus x naught a is equal to a which implies x naught is a minus a times x naught which implies x naught is a times 1 minus x naught which implies a is equal to x naught over 1 minus x naught when we substitute this back into in place of a then we get x of t to be equal to by simplifying we get x of t to be equal to x naught e power a t divide by 1 minus x naught plus x naught e power a t this thing so this is going to be the solution of the differential equation analytically we can predict the behavior from here but this is very easy you know like but first we will now move towards the phase line when we will see the long term behavior of uh, differential equation from there and then we will be comparing that with this analytical part so let's start doing the the plotting the phase line so we are given with x of prime to be a x into 1 minus x first of all we will find its equilibrium solutions equilibrium solutions of this d and the equilibrium solution is given by setting x prime to be 0 that means a x into 1 minus x equal to 0 that implies x is 0 or x is 1 so these two are stationary solutions are equilibrium solutions keeping these two equilibrium solutions in head now we will try to plot phase line so before we plot that let's see what is happening in the x and x prime plane so this is my x and this is x prime so we can plot this this x prime equal to a x into 1 minus x over here so this is cup down parabola with uh, you know x intercepts at 0 and at 1 this is 0 this is at 1 so we can plot this parabola so we can see that uh, we can realize that if x is less than 0 then x prime is negative in other words the trajectories are directed to this way in other words left but between 0 and 1 x prime is positive so trajectories are directed this way and after x1 uh, we have x prime negative so again the trajectories are directed this way are the motion is directed towards 1 so we can see that x equal to 0 is source or unstable point from where the trajectories are moving away whereas the 1 is the point where trajectories are moving towards or at x equal to 1 we have attraction and at x equal to 0 we have repulsion or 
source type.